The next logical question after creating your own module is, well, are there modules already out there? Is there some sort of registry I can go to? And the answer is obviously yes. And if we go back over to the documentation page and go to the Terraform registry, which is actually a registry.terraform.io, and I'll go back to the root of this, you can see Terraform module registry, you can search directly in here, or you can scroll down, choose your favorite cloud provider, in this case Azure, and select from a whole registry you know, of modules that are available to you. Now the way this will work is if we go in and grab this compute module, and I go down, I will see simple example of usage for this, a little bit different. Remember we had all that complexity when we were building our VMs, you know, and all the things we had to add in there. The module kind of simplifies a lot of this for you. So in this case, this is a module that will deploy Linux servers, Windows servers, you know, network, etc. cetera, a much smaller amount of code that you can see. And it's all done using, again, this module command here, but instead of getting them from a folder, it will actually get them from the registry, and specifically the Azure registry in this case. So if we copy this set of code and go ahead and create a new folder, so we'll call this one 7B. And what we'll do is copy in our tfvars and variables file in there. But this time we'll create a new main file. So we'll go to Visual Studio Code, open that folder. Let's create that new file and copy in the code from the Terraform registry. And that's all copied in. Let's go over to PowerShell and see what happens if we try to run it. So we're in the module 7b folder. And we'll try and do a plan first of all, and you'll see the same issue we run into, error loaded modules. So let's run our initialization. And there it goes, and you can see it's pulling those down from the registry, so they can run now. Now before I go and do the plan and apply, one thing you need to be aware of is you do need to have the Azure CLI installed on your system for this to work. You may get an error if that's not the case. So if you head over to this page, which we will link as well in the course material, it essentially gives you install Azure CLI 2.0. You can do it on Mac, OS, Windows, etc. Just download the installer relevant for your operating system, run that. You may need to restart your PowerShell client or whatever command prompt you're in at that point, uh, but it does depend on that for some of these modules. But if we go back to PowerShell, let's do our Terraform plan. And at this point, you can see it's actually saying we need our CLI to actually be logged in. So although I've got Azure CLI installed, I need to do an AZ login, which if I run that, it'll take me over to login. I click the account for Azure that I want, and then I can close this window, go back over. You can see it's logged in now. And now I can plan again, and this time it will actually work. And that's because some of the module is dependent on the Azure CLI and it needed to be authenticated against Azure. So pretty big module here, and you can see in this case, there's about 20, you know, Terraform objects in total that it's going to add, you know, between Windows servers and Linux servers. And that's where the end of the module. I can go ahead and apply this. This one will take a while to go ahead and build, but you get the idea. Just obviously, if you apply it, make sure you destroy everything at the end.